Good night, everyone. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, over, over everybody's well. Uh, just out on the farm again today. Uh, another pest control video. So if you don't like uh, <clears throat> pest control, then please uh, don't watch this video. So yeah, as you can hear in the background, and I've just showed you plenty of crows about. But whether we can get any or not is a different matter. But yeah, uh, all the cattle's back out in the fields now as well. So hopefully the barns might be empty. So maybe I'll get a couple of shots at uh, some feral pigeons. <clears throat> yeah, we check the barns first because. Uh, there still might be some cattle in there for you, so then we won't be able to get them. But yeah, uh, absolutely gorgeous morning for a change. Normally when I turn up here, it's either miserable or uh, it starts raining and stuff, but uh, looks like it's going to be a nice morning. So I've just had a shot of a pigeon on the roof there, but totally missed it, so... Right, absolutely crap start, but no man. Uh, we'll have a walk around anyway. Hopefully uh, get the gun ready and get everything sorted, and then um, we'll uh, get on our way and see, <coughs> see if we can uh, get anything today. But even if not, yeah, it's a lovely day for a walk around. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll just get the gun sorted out. And uh, we'll have a nice walk about. First squirrel of the day, uh, another one out the, ran out the upper as well. <coughs> so I'll go and put that somewhere uh, shady so the fleas jump off it. Yeah, I, I just had a squirrel down there, uh, nice headshot. So uh, that one dropped. There was another one sat on the upper, but it was in the bit where the grain goes into. So I didn't want a chance taking that one just in case it um, <coughs> fell inside the upper and I couldn't get it. But uh, yeah, uh, there's been a few rats running about as well, so I'm just going to stand in here for a bit. Uh, the old squirrel stopped as well, but I couldn't load the quick, uh, gun quick enough. With it being a brake ball, probably if he had a PCP, I probably could have got two squirrels there, but no man, like I say. At least we've got one down, so we'll stand in here for a bit, then we'll have a walk around in the barns if we can get in them. And then there uh, seems to be plenty of activity about the day, but whether we can get in range of anything is a different matter. So I'll see what else we can get. Looks like the ducks are back again over there, look, to uh, <coughs> males. Actually, I think there's three of them to see ahead of another one, I think. So... Nice, no, James, not uh, duck season, but no man. Guys, um, farm's working in where the uh, rats and the squirrel was where I've just shot. So we just uh, came down the bottom of the barn, absolutely tons of crows about, but uh, they're just lying about at the minute, so I'm just going to sit down here for a bit and uh, see if it comes down. Uh, I think the family's down as well because there's some kids playing up the top, so I'm not going to go up that end just yet with the air uh, rifle. Uh, there's a cow in the background behind me, if you can see that, I don't know if the camera's picking her up because it's pretty dark. So yeah, I'm going to get the uh, first net on and uh, just sit here for a bit and see if it turns up down here. Oh, yes. um, just sat in the barn for a bit. Uh, absolutely tons of crows about in jackdaws. But uh, <coughs> just a bit too far out of range to shoot. And uh, they're not coming close enough. I want to do land in the trees. Uh, going beyond branches so you can't get a clear shot out of them. Uh, I'm not shooting birds. I'm like, 
they're pretty clever, so I'll have a walk around and uh, see where else we can sit. But uh, I need to be careful because, like I said, I think there's kids on the farm today, so I need to be careful where I'm shooting. And um, like I said, I won't uh, go anywhere near where they are. So I will have no walk about and see what uh, see what turns up. There's a big fella again in the uh, field, the big bull. Those cows over there going off it. Uh, gun's not loaded, so uh, I had no chance of it going off accidentally. But, uh, yeah, absolutely massive uh, animals. Yeah, there's been absolutely loads of uh, crows and jackdaws like about, as you can hear them and see on some of the videos, but uh, just not um, staying long enough to get a shot off with the air rifle or the uh, out of distance. But, uh, I think it should have been a day for the shotgun today, but no man. Still having fun walking around, it's a nice day, so might as well make the most of it. So we still have had a squirrel now that I'll have to prepare it on. Hopefully um, I've left it in the shade, so I'm hoping no flies get on it or out. And I uh, will probably prefer, uh, prepare that later on. So, aye, right, still staying for hours yet. I'm just going to go back in the barn and um, see if it turns up back in the barn, because uh, we can't go down the other end of the farm, so like I said, they've got family in and the kids are playing around in the fields and stuff and walking around, so I'm not going to risk shooting down that end. So I would just go and stand in the barn and see if any more rats or squirrels popping. And um, that crow I've just shot, I've uh, just searched behind me down in all the bushes here, <coughs> and I uh, can't see it anywhere. But um, there is a river behind me, so I think it might have fell in the river. But uh, yeah, I think it was definitely dead deadly. Came down squawking, but then as soon as it the flight, it shut up. So uh, I think it might have rolled into the river, but I can't find it anywhere. And I've been right through the bushes, and uh, full of brambles and stuff. So I'll have another quick look, see if I can see it, but uh, at the minute, I can't find it. My ducks are still sat there, look, four of them now. You haven't moved from that spot since I've been here. So, uh, I must be happy over there. Yeah, see, uh, there's four of them now. But, uh, you haven't moved since I've been walking around here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I just pulled my pants up. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to call it a day now because uh, the farm is getting a bit more act active on it. And uh, like I said, these kids starting to walk about the farm and stuff. So uh, I'm going to call it a day just to make sure everything's safe and uh, safe shooting. Obviously, the kids in the family have been over the top end of the farm up there, so I haven't shot up that end at all. I've just stayed down the bottom end. But uh, they're starting to move about now and feed the cows and stuff like that. So I'm going to call it a day uh, just to make sure everyone's safe. I said I don't want to take any shots if I don't know <clears throat> if there's people there or not. So um, yeah, I'm just going to call it a day now and uh, get going. 
But anyway, uh, shot a crow off camera. So anyway, I was just packing up and stuff and uh, setting the camera up and done this. And it landed in the oak tree. So yeah, got a crow. The uh, squirrel from earlier on. Head shot in there, so uh, it'll be alright. I'm going to get this skinned and prepared. Uh, obviously, I'll do that off camera because I don't like doing stuff off camera. But uh, like I say, just cut underneath the back tail, stand on the tail, rip the legs up, uh, and then that just leaves like a pair of trousers. Pull the trousers off, and then obviously gut it. Uh, I don't like doing that on YouTube because I think they're a bit funny now about um, blood and guts and stuff. And uh, anyone new to the channel, uh, Gun and Musings, the HW99S uh, 177, HN uh, Field Target Trophy Pellets as well. Well, uh, I'm running out of pellets now, so I might try Air Arms through it. Air Arms Diablo, because I know it likes them as well. So, my next pellet to buy, I might try Air Arms Diablo. But yeah, you have shot two crows all together. The other one landed in the river. Went down the bank and into the river as far as I know, and I couldn't find it. And then, just like it says, I was setting the camera up to finish the video, and this landed in the York tree. There's just another one landed in there again now, so I might go and get that one. We'll see if I can get it. But uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant day. Um, Two minutes, I'll bring you back in a minute. I'm just going to try and uh, see if I can get this. Oh yeah, I missed that one just to say, see a little bit of a breath, I think the pellet hit the branch. Uh, I don't know if we float the tree or not, I'll look back on the footage in this in a minute. Uh, yeah, they all landed in this oak tree, and they're all flying around, so what I'm going to do, uh, when I pack up and go, I'm going to see the farmer and see if I can stand in this paddock with a shock, when I saw him come up with a shotgun, and get him on the flight, I think, if he'd let me. Like I said, it's a bit close to the house, the house is just there, but it's still um, about 100, 150 yards away, easy. So he might be alright, but uh, anyway. A uh, knife I've got as well is... Um, more uh, like my fire knife. I uh, got it off my partner's uncle, he gives it the other day. Uh, so thanks a lot, Peter, if you watch this video. I uh, really appreciate it. I'm going to use this to prepare the squirrel. And then, like I say, I've got a little uh, fire starter on it. So, yeah, it'll be alright if we uh, take it out and do a. Uh, if I want to cook, want to shoot, I can just go and start a fire. So, um, yeah, if you want to see a catch and cook video, uh, let us know in the comments and I might do uh, another catch and cook one. Uh, just see what we can get next time we're here, see if we can get any pigeons or rabbits or squirrels. But um, yeah, thanks for uh, joining me on this one. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!